In his career spanning four decades, Dr. George Tebow has been a driving force for the now widespread adoption of interprofessional team-based education and care. As president of the Josiah Macy Jr. Foundation, Dr. Tebow has been at the helm of transformative conferences and reports for innovation in health professions education. He also established the prestigious Macy Faculty Scholars Program. Dr. Tebow is a nationally sought after advisor and highly lauded teacher who has earned a reputation as one of the true giants of contemporary medical education. We exist to serve the patients. That's not somebody else's job. That's our job as educators. And we should take pride in that, that we play a very important role in improving healthcare in the country. And we need to have a much closer link between our educators and those responsible for the delivery system so that education and delivery are really intertwined. Education is informed by the needs of the patients in the delivery system, and the delivery system is built intentionally to accommodate and support education. Learning how to work in a team is a fundamental skill that all physicians and other health professionals should have, and we should intentionally teach how to both lead a team and how to follow in a team. Most of my teaching was bedside teaching, using that moment in time uh, to both help transmit knowledge, but more importantly, to help develop the skills to be a good doctor. And that was, to me, the most important teaching moment. And my greatest satisfaction is to see the careers that have blossomed. Oh, there's so many people to thank. First and foremost is Dan Fetterman, who was really my mentor and role model from the time I was a medical student. Roman DeSanctis was my clinical teacher. He taught me how to be a doctor. Sam Thier, he has been my guide and friend throughout my whole career. I've had two wonderful deans at Harvard Medical School, Dan Tosteson with The New Pathway, and Joe Martin, who enabled me to create the academy at Harvard Medical School. I had two wonderful chiefs of medicine, Alex Leaf at the Mass General, and then later in my career, Gene Brownwall. And of course, I must most of all thank my life partner, Barb. She has been my ballast, my uh, source of wisdom, and also an active participant in everything I've done. And everybody who has worked with me knows how important she has been uh, to my life, my career, and to the broad family that we've tried to create wherever we've been.